फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट ऑल दी प्राइवेट रिस्पोंडेंट्स इन द प्रजेंट बंच ऑफ केसेस कोमा वर गिवन मोनेटरी बेनिफिट्स कोमा विच वर इन एक्सेस ऑफ देयर एंटाइटलमेंट स्टो दीज बेनिफिट्स फ्लोड टू देम कोमा कॉन्सिक्वेंट अपॉन अ मिस्टेक कमिटेड बाय द कंसर्ड कंपेटेंट अथॉरिटी कोमा इन डिटरमाइनिंग द इमोल्यूमेंट्स पेबल टू देम स्टो द मिस्टेक कुड हैव अकर्ड ऑन अकाउंट ऑफ ए वेराइटी ऑफ रीजन्स कोलन इंक्लूडिंग द ग्रांट ऑफ ए स्टेटस कोमा विच द कंसर्ड इम्प्लॉई वॉज नॉट एंटाइटल्ड टू सेमी कोलन और पेमेंट ऑफ सैलरी इन ए हायर स्केल कोमा दैन इन कॉन्सोनेंस ऑफ द राइट ऑफ द कंसर्ड इम्प्लॉई सेमी कोलन और बिकॉज ऑफ ए रोंगफुल फिक्सेशन ऑफ सैलरी ऑफ द इम्प्लॉई कोमा कॉन्सिक्वेंट अपॉन द अपवार्ड रिविजन ऑफ पे स्केल्स सेमी कोलन और फॉर हैविंग बीन ग्रांटेड अलाउंसिस कोमा फॉर विच द कंसर्ड इम्प्लॉई वॉज नॉट अथोराइज स्टो द लॉन्ग एंड शॉर्ट ऑफ द मैटर इज कोमा दैट ऑल द प्राइवेट रिस्पोंडेंट्स वर बेनिफिशरीज ऑफ ए मिस्टेक कमिटेड बाय द इम्प्लॉयर कोमा एंड ऑन अकाउंट ऑफ द सेड अन इंटेंशनल मिस्टेक कोमा इम्प्लॉयज वर इन रिसीट ऑफ मोनिटरी बेनिफिट्स कोमा बियॉन्ड देयर ड्यू स्टो पैरा अनदर इसेंशियल फैक्चुअल कंपोनेंट इन दिस बंच ऑफ केसेस इज कोमा दैट द रिस्पोंडेंट इम्प्लॉयज वर नॉट गिल्टी ऑफ फर्निशिंग एनी इनकरेक्ट इंफॉर्मेशन कोमा विच हैड लेट द कंसर्ड कंपेटेंट अथॉरिटी कोमा टू कमिट द मिस्टेक ऑफ मेकिंग द हायर पेमेंट टू द इम्प्लॉयज स्टो द पेमेंट ऑफ हायर ड्यूज टू द प्राइवेट रिस्पोंडेंट्स कोमा इन ऑल दीज केसेज कोमा वॉज नोट ऑन अकाउंट ऑफ एनी मिस रिप्रजेंटेशन मेड बाय देम कोमा नोर वॉज इट ऑन अकाउंट ऑफ एनी फ्रॉड कमिटेड बाय देम स्टो एनी पार्टिसिपेशन ऑफ द प्राइवेट रिस्पोंडेंट्स कोमा इन द मिस्टेक कमिटेड बाय द इम्प्लॉयर कोमा इन एक्सटेंडिंग द अनडिजर्व मोनिटरी बेनिफिट्स टू द रिस्पोंडेंट इम्प्लॉयज कोमा इज टोटली रूल्ड आउट स्टो इट वुड देयर फोर नोट बी इन करेक्ट टू रिकॉर्ड कोमा दैट द प्राइवेट रिस्पोंडेंट्स कोमा वर एज इनोसेंट एज देयर इम्प्लॉयर्स कोमा इन द रोंगफुल डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ देयर इन्फ्लेटेड इमोल्यूमेंट्स स्टो द इशू दैट वी हैव बीन रिक्वायर्ड टू एडजुडिकेट इज कोमा whether all the private respondents coma against whom an order of recovery has been made coma should be exempted in law coma from the reimbursement of the same to the employer sto for the applicability of the instant order coma and the conclusions recorded by us here in after coma the ingredients depicted in the foregoing two paragraphs are essentially indispensable sto merely on account of the fact comma that the release of these monetary benefits was based on a mistaken belief at the hands of the employer comma and further comma because the employees had no role in the determination of the employer comma could it be legally feasible comma for the private respondents to assert comma here sto para they should be exempted from refunding the excess amount received by them sign of interrogation in so far as the above issue is concerned comma it is necessary to keep in mind comma that the following reference was made by a division bench of two judges of this court comma for consideration by a larger bench colon court in view of an apparent difference of views expressed on the one hand in sham babu verma and others versus union of india and others to scc 521 and on the other hand in chandi prasad unial and others versus state of uttarakhand and others scc 417 comma we are of the view 
that the remaining special leave petitions should be placed before a bench of three judges. So, the registry is accordingly directed to place the file of the remaining special leave petitions before the Honorable the Chief Justice of India for taking instructions for the constitution of a bench of three judges, comma, to adjudicate upon the present controversies. Stop, quote, close. The aforesaid reference was answered by a division bench of three judges on 8th July, comma, 2014. Stop. While disposing of the reference, comma, the three judge division bench, comma, recorded the following observations in paragraph 7. Stop. In our considered view, comma, the observations made by the court not to recover the excess amount paid to the appellant therein were in exercise of its extraordinary powers under Article 142 of the Constitution of India, which vest the power in this court to pass equitable orders in the ends of justice. Stop. Para. Now that the bill is before us, comma, we have to speak on this subject rather on the general themes. Stop. Yet, comma, I would like to make certain general observations in this connection because the basis of the bill is the report of the Third Finance Commission. Stop. This is a long-standing issue facing the public finance of the country. Stop. Those who have studied economics will know well how this matter had come up even during the British time when we did not have either independence or any kind of autonomy in the states even in that setup. So, even at that time, comma, the state governments functioning under the British felt that something should be done with regard to adjustment of finances, comma, especially in regard to the relations between the center and the states. So, there had been a long-standing controversy as to how the taxes, comma, especially the income tax, comma, should be divided between the center and the states. So, I do not deny the existence of the controversy, comma, and this controversy is not easy to resolve. So, I entirely agree. So, but I should have thought that the Third Finance Commission should be tried to face the problems before it not more or less in a routine manner but in the context of the new things not only as they are today but as they are going to shape in the coming future. So, we have got what is called a quasi-federal constitution. So, I do not say federal constitution although the spirit is there, comma, but a quasi-federal constitution because most of the powers, comma, many of the powers, comma, that should remain with the states are now in the hands of the central government. So, therefore, comma, in that way, it is more unitary in character than federal. So, at the same time, comma, structurally speaking, comma, we have got the state assemblies, comma, legislatures, comma, state budgets and so on. So, they function more or less in the same way. So, but if you go a little deeper into the affairs, comma, it would immediately lead you to think that the states do not have any substantial, comma, real power, comma, especially in the matter of finance. So, Perhaps at the time when the constitution was framed, comma, this aspect did not figure very much in the minds of the makers of the constitution. So, we had just become free and the concept of welding India into a solid nation was uppermost in the minds of those people who framed the constitution and all others as well. So, in that background, comma, it was quite understandable that 
it should be the dominant thought as to how to put the different segments of our country into a whole comma namely comma the indian union stop